Sagittarius Nicola. So this is your weekly read. This will be from May the 10th through May the 16th, 2020. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Cancer? All right. So we have First Ray of Power. Let's read what we have for that. The first ray of power is an energy of conscious destruction. It can be used in a healthy way to eliminate the past and allow for a fresh start. The first ray also carries the frequency of leadership. It can assist you to stand in the truth of your light so others can find their way by it. It helps to strengthen your willpower so you can accomplish any task you choose. The Ascendant Master El Mayor brings you his particular blessings and encourages you to believe in your own strength and take the initiative on what matters most to you. Yo. This was the same card that y'all got last week. So I feel like right now you're still in a space of needing to take control or needing to become the authority figure in your life. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for May the 10th through May the 16th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May the 10th, May the 11th, May the 12th, May the 13th, May the 14th, May the 15th, and May the 16th of 2020. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Got to make some decisions. Got to make some decisions, Cancer. You need to choose wisely. Some of you guys could be facing um, multiple options within love. You need to make the wise decision for yourself. All right, so Sunday here, we got awareness here, magician. I feel like you've manifested some things or you've become aware of some things. So Monday, we got the universe here. So some of you guys could become aware that you're ending a cycle or that you've completed a cycle within your life. Maybe even coming aware that you are one with the universe, meaning become aware with your own spirituality. Two of Swords, there's something about this awareness that creates mental conflict for you. Um, the way to ease the mental conflict is to separate the thoughts, meaning detach yourself from your mind and allow yourself to feel what you need to feel moving forward. Wednesday, we have the base chakra here. So this is mental, this is some conflicts around, this is fear. Base chakra talks about our fears, our root fears, the triggers that we have in our life. Some of you guys are dealing with some fears, but you could also be in the space of having some mental conflict in regards to some things that you've become aware of. You could be moving into a new type of energy, and that is creating this sort of like messed up stuff in the head, like you're conflicted within your thoughts. All right, Wednesday. All right, Thursday, we have the light here. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's going to be some clarity this week. Um, you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to find some light or you're going to start seeing something realistically. Okay, so we have the three of cups here. There may be a third party that comes to light. Friday here, chariot here. So you could be finding out either the truth about a third party that could be creating some conflict. Um, you're becoming aware of some things. All right. I feel like whatever's happening, you're going to be moving to our triumph. There's going to be a celebration. You're going to have a reason to celebrate, but you have to make the right decision. Um, magician here. Let's see here. Why is this magician here? Why is awareness here? You could be coming... Uh, Five of Cups, something that you become aware of makes you unhappy. Two of Swords, Two of Wands, I feel like it puts you at a crossroads here. Maybe about a commitment, something that you were committed to. I feel like for a lot of you guys with that Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, you could have been waiting for some sort of commitment or waiting for some stability from a situation. But I feel like there's some regret that has you at a crossroads and feeling, again, conflicted. So something that you learn conflicts you. We got the universe here why is this universe here why is this universe here we have the queen of pentacles here tower here and the five of swords so some of you guys eight of pentacles here with the page now you could be dealing with an earth sign um i feel like there is some feelings of defeat Especially with the tower, like all of a sudden you could be in a space of feeling defeated by something. There could be a cycle that ends. Um, I feel like you need to be in alignment with it. See it, like see the situation sensibly with the Queen of Pentacles here. But the reason why I say that for some of you guys, you could be conflicted mentally because Page of Swords here. 
Page of Swords represents like challenging information. So some of you guys could be finding out some challenging information um, that could put it into the way things have been for you on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. So that could be, as simple, especially with base chakra, this could be talking about your household, like you might have to move, um, you could lose a job, or you could quit a job, or there could be a friendship that's changed, a relationship that's changed. Something is going to drastically change your life. All right, so with the Two of Cups here, I mean the Two of Swords here, I feel like whatever this awareness is makes you, hmm, it makes you conflicted. You're at a stalemate. I feel like you're really in a space of, investing into something solid but i feel like with the justice here you need to weigh the pros and cons of what you want to move forward to in your life i feel like this is about finding the strength to overcome this mental conflict or overcome the ego that is you know your fears overcome whatever fears that are that are fucking with you at the moment so we have the base chakra here six of pentacles here so i feel like you're for a lot of you guys, I do feel like there's an end. I told you, Knight of Pentacles here, Six of Pentacles here. Something that you felt was balanced could be coming to an end. Um, this is, I feel like you're starting from scratch here. Um, you do have to make some wise decisions this week. I feel like you're starting from scratch. There are some new investments here. I don't know if this is a new, like I'm telling you. Because it was a base chakra, this talks about your foundation. This could also talk about your fears. Whatever this is, you're starting from scratch. You're starting from new. Um, I feel like there's an end to however your day-to-day -day life was previously. Like whatever you were doing, the mundane activities, there's going to be a significant change in that. I do feel like it's going to create balance moving forward. But I feel like initially it may not seem as though it's going to be balanced. All right. So we have the sun card here. Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? We've got the four of cups here. Yeah, there's some, I told you, you're going to have some challenge information. There's some clarity here that creates some discontentment within your heart. Four of cups here. Nine of swords, some anxiety within your head. Page of wands. I feel like you need to be enthusiastic about this clarity, but because there's a change here, will of fortune here with the ace of cups, I feel like there's a new opportunity present within this. I feel like for some of you guys and I don't know if this new opportunity makes you happy or unhappy because I got five cups on that new opportunity. And with the four of cups, that's some discontentment. So for some of you guys, I feel like what's happening is going to lead to happiness for you. But because you're in a space of being confused, um, trying to process things, I feel like you're you're just, I don't know, I feel like you're, you're in a space of, of having fear around your own foundation having fear around the changes that are happening in your life so three of cups here we have ten of cups here that's seven cups some of you guys are confused about a family situation queen of swords here I feel like you're starting to see clearly about a relationship lovers here with the three of cups again so some of you guys the challenge and information may have to do with a third party page of swords here lovers with the three of cups or or it has to do with some truth. You could figure, you could realize that you're a third party. You could realize that someone you're dealing with has a family. Three of Cups, Ten of Cups. You could realize that, that you're a third party to someone that is either married or like they have, you know, they, they got their own thing going on that you may not know about. So we have the Chariot here. This is your card here for Saturday. I feel like you're going to be very much within your element Saturday. Um, really in a space of finding your motivation to move toward victory for self. Knight of Swords, what I tell you, moving to our victory. Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like you're committed to moving forward, bringing balance within your life. Will of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles. The change is you're going to become more confident in yourself, in your own abilities. I told you. So I feel like you're going to find your element this week. It's going to start off rocky. I'm not telling you it's not. I feel like it's going to start off rocky because you there's something you're become you're going to become aware of that is going to conflict you mentally. All right, so let's see what messages we have. What messages? What guidance do we have? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Moving forward, what messages? What messages? What guidance do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Moving forward. 
messages, guidance, or cancer. So I'm on rising and we moving forward. All right, we have three. So I feel like this week you're going to start seeing things in a new light, maybe looking at the beauty of life right now. I feel like you are in, in the in-between because for a lot of you guys, you could have been devoted to a myth. Reverence, white buffalo calf woman is a myth. So some of you guys could have been... Um, devoted to a myth and now you're in the in-between i feel like you're starting to see the beauty of an alliance here or adapting to a new alliance so for a lot of you guys this is about making the right decisions making the right choices um good luck that's all i got y'all